Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. I'm Kevin. And what you're watching is actually what I took this morning, early this cold Saturday morning, and posted to Instagram at Keith Kevin Ken. That's my daily pocket dump. That's what is going to fill my pockets all through today. I turned my iPhone into a video camera and now on the YouTube channel, we're going to deconstruct this pocket dump, talk about all the knives, fondle them, play with them, and then also show you the knife that almost made my pocket. A very unique knife, and I decided ah, not to carry it today, but I'll play with it all day long. So let's get to it. I always, always carry a cigar I have one on me. Uh, this is a wonderful Cohiba because as I record this, it's a Saturday. I'm going to have time to smoke it. Uh, it's Cohiba. It's one of the finest brands, Cuban brand cigars you can find. I just love collecting cigars, finding them, collecting them, tasting them, doing a little diary about how they taste. Anyway, I'm a collecting kind of guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> But I celebrate every day, usually towards the end of it, uh, with a wonderful cigar. It, uh, my watch today, one of my rotation, my regular rotations, this is my tag, um, chronograph, I just love it. I keep calling it, and it's true. In my mind, it's the, uh, those, these tag watches are the uh, Sabenzas of the watch world. They take a beating. They look great. Plain design, but wonderful um, execution. So it just makes it classy and nice for work and for play. The coin that you see is a, the, a Harry S. Truman coin. It's a limited silver coin kind of thing that uh, the U.S. Mint has done with our presidents. I collect president coins, and also I collect some silver coins. I always have a silver coin in my pocket for good luck. My grandfather did it. That's one of the things I really remember about him, so I've been doing it for decades. Uh, and that's the Harry S. Truman. This is the brandy because it's cold. I have a wonderful cigar and it's the weekend. I'm going to enjoy myself. <laughs> um, usually I have some kind of coach leather. About 15 years ago, uh, I found coach, bought a bunch of leather men items. I don't even know if they sell them anymore. <laughs> I, I always see them with women's clothes and purses and stuff. But anyway, love their leather. Wears great. Once I buy something I like, I like it and keep with it. Field guide today, I always have a notepad handy. One reason is I'm older and I forget things. And I like doing that instead of talking into my uh, phone or something. Let's talk about the knives. Man, this is a special knife day. I wake up on a Saturday morning, go through, I have four Pelican cases full of uh, knives. And I started going through the Spydeco cases. Um, I have a bunch of Spydecos. So there's several cases for Spydeco. And uh, man, everything I picked up, I just loved. I don't, I, I don't even know how I got the picture on the Instagram because I just wanted to sit and play with knives. So you'll see um, some Spydeco knives in this deconstruction. The first one, <laughs> man... The first knife is the Spydeco Mouse. Um, it's a collaboration with the knife maker Tim Wagner. Um, this is just a great Altai VG10 steel, uh, just a little knife. It's one of Spydeco. What Spydeco does well is what they call the little big guy knives. They're very small, but so well put together and sturdy. They feel like a big knife. They can do pretty much everything, but they're very small. I always have a keychain knife. I'm using this as my keychain knife. It has that very strong spidical back lock. I think one of their best. The compression lock 
is by far the funnest and the coolest. Um, obviously, the Chris Reeve uh, integral lock that Spyderco uses is great, no doubt about it. Um, and a, a number of their frame locks are wonderful, but that back lock is so solid. I don't care what it's on. Listen, yeah, that's a solid back lock. This is the mouse, kind of hard to find. They also had a sprint run of the mouse in carbon fiber. Uh, I've seen a couple of them. I haven't really went after them. First, they cost a mint. But the other reason is, I I don't know. Maybe at some point I, I will get one, but I just like the sturdiness of it. I really do. Um, anyway, that's the mouse. Look at that. Kind of looks like a mouse, huh? <laughs> uh, with that solid clip. I know a lot of people take off the clips on these little big guy knives because these knives really do fit nice in that jeans. If you're an old guy, watch pocket. If you're a new guy, the pocket, if you're a younger guy, the pocket you don't know what to do with in the jeans, the little one. <laughs> Used to carry a little watch or something. These knives are perfect for that. I don't take off the clips. I like the clips, the clips are nice. Um, but a lot of times I don't use the clip and I slip it in that pocket. <laughs> so I get why people do take off the clip. This is the mouse. You won't see it. Ooh, listen to it click. They didn't just throw together a little knife. Uh, this is a wonderful knife. Um, very sturdy, very nice, perfect construction. Um, it's Spydeco. It is the mouse. This is my keychain. <laughs> if you live if you live next to me, you'd see that every time I got into my car <laughs> dangling from my steering wheel. So anyway, that's the keychain, the Spider Co mouse. You're gonna see a lot of unique, wonderful Spider Co's in this carry because man, I was waiting for Saturday for the weekend like crazy this week. For some reason. It just stood still for me. So I am very happy I, to go through those cases and to do some carries that I haven't carried in a while. Now I do carry one of my Sabenzas almost every time. I have a bunch of Sabenzas because I love them. Um, and I will be working through all of my Sabenzas uh, on this channel in many M-I-N-I collections um, this weekend I'll post two mini collections. Next week I'll post a number of collections. I'll also be posting um, some mail calls. If you're watching this later, that's okay. Check out the videos because we're going to be caressing the knives, opening them, closing them, discussing them. Um, but oh man, I ordered a couple of, I ordered three knives that I'm very excited about that I should get from Blade HQ in a couple of days, and you'll be the first to see them and play with them with me. Um, so anyway, let's get back to this knife. <laughs> this is a Chris Reeve. What Chris Reeve does uh, a lot actually is work with um, companies on exclusive Chris Reeve knives. This is called the Starbenza. This particular one is a small Starbenza, small uh, Sabenza that has this wonderful star burst pattern. This is a collaboration between Chris Reeve and Wilson Tactical. Wilson Tactical is a gun maker, uh, does a lot of gun um, stuff as well. Um, and so uh, they got together because Chris Reeve really has wonderful tactical knives as well as EDC knives, this is the company's Starburst pattern. So it's incorporated into all of the Starbenzas. Doesn't it feel nice? <laughs> it's really wonderful. They did a um, Sabenza 25, a Sabenza 21, large and small, and the Umnenzan. I have those. I will do a mini collection of the Starbenza collection as well on this channel at some point so you'll be able to see all of them but it is a chris reeve knife everything you expected except it has this wonderful starburst 
Of course it has the integral lock. The, the special things on this exclusive, and, and they're still available. They're limited, but they're available. So you'll have to go to uh, the uh, Wilson Tactical website to see what's available and buy them. Um, has the two studs, which is wonderful. Chris Reeve, whenever he does these special things, and I have a bunch of Chris Reeve specials, whether it's carbon fiber or the Tanto blade, he usually gives a, a, a lanyard and a special, um, a wonderful lanyard and a special bead. This has the uh, Sabenza, the, the Wilson Tactical kind of emblem on the bead, so you get a special bead as well, but you get a wonderful Sabenza. Built like a tank, of course, beautiful, that wonderful um, starburst pattern makes it really look great. That is the Starbenza. I really wanted to spend a little time with that because I was collecting a lot of Sabenzas. I actually didn't know about the Starbenzas. Every now and then I'd hear someone make a reference of it, but I hadn't seen it. So one day I came into some money and I just was searching them and found this knife and, and all of its kin. And it's a really nice knife. Hey, don't forget, you can always play the Keith Kevin Ken drinking game. <laughs> Whenever I say wonderful, beautiful, I love it, um, take a shot of coffee or whatever. Uh, I say that because here's a wonderful, beautiful knife that I love. <laughs> I told you, I'm, I'm bringing out some wonderful um, oh man, Spydacos. You know, you see a lot of videos on YouTube. I do. I love all of the knife fan, uh, the the knife fans, the knife fanatics like I am. All of their videos. This right here is one of my favorite knives. It has been in my top ten so far. Um, man, I just love it. It just feels great. Spydaco has teamed up with Tim uh, Sawada. They teamed up with him in early 1990s for a Tim Sawada knife, and then they upgraded it. They wanted to do what they call sprint runs. This is a sprint run Tim Sawada. Now, here's what a sprint run is. A lot of you Spydaco folks know this, but what Spydaco is a production company, and they produce, I think, some of the best knives around. I'm a fan. And they do those in thousands and thousands of knives, tens of thousands of knives. If you start talking about some, you know, a Delica or Endura, some of their knives that have lasted for a long time. They're very good at updating knives, whether it's updating the scales or updating the blade and the steel. Um, and they do stuff that they call sprint runs. You will hear me talk about sprint runs a lot in my videos because I love them. I hop on a lot of their sprint runs. I own a lot of them. So the first Tim Sawada in the early 90s was just a wonderful plain um, uh, scales. And then they upgraded it to this wonderful carbon fiber. It's real carbon fiber. It's not carbon fiber peel ply or on top of G10. It's wonderful carbon fiber with these great steel liners and this is it. Usually a sprint run is limited to a thousand pieces or less. So Spydaco does a limited run and you know they, they advertise it and you can get them and then once they're gone, they're gone. I love this. Everything is wonderful. They wanted to keep that shape. So yes, it's a functional spidey hole. This is how you open it with one hand. Not as big as usual because they didn't want to mess up that profile, that blade profile of the Zawada. The Zawada blade profile is really this spear blade. Hey, listen, that's tactical, <laughs> okay? You can do damage with it. You can also work with it. It's a very nice EDC knife. It's while it has those liners and while it has the carbon fiber really lightens everything up. 
You can see this is a standard uh, Spyderco uh, clip. It works, not my favorite clip, but it does work. VG10 steel, Spyderco loves that VG10 steel. I really like this. I wish one day they update even this Zawada um, with better blade steel and, uh, you know, play with this back a little bit more. <laughs> but man, it is a wonderful knife. Sometimes I wish we had like feel vision where I can go, no, everyone touch this knife, handle it. The weight is perfect. Tim Zawada is not one of those rock star knife makers, but he really has attention to detail. And man, just to imagine him and uh, Spyderco getting together and making, I think, one of the most perfect knives. I make sure that this stays next to my Gail Bradley's in the case. Do you do that? I want to make sure that it stays next to another wonderful production knife. <laughs> you know, I don't put this next to the cheap stuff <laughs> or the knives that are just so-so. It's in that great kind of neighborhood in my 1600 Pelican case. I just want to make sure that when I just want to go ooh and all, ah, that I have all those great knives next to each other. That's the Tim Zawada. I had to talk about it. It's a very special knife, very nice carry for me. This carry is actually, usually I don't, I have a big knife. I don't this time around. It's really two kind of medium knives, the Starbenza, the small Starbenza, the Zawada. I love that mouse. You can tell by my knives that this weekend, I just want it to feel good. <laughs> and this is a very nice carry. Of course, this is the Keith Kevin Ken channel. This is not the Keith Kevin Ken Instagram. On Instagram, that's my carry. On the YouTube channel, I tell you about the knife that got away. Remember I told you I just kept playing with the Spyderco cases and knives. I wanted something special. I almost carried this. I just didn't. This again, even in the original write-up of this a knife, this is the Spyderco Meerkat knife. Spyderco says, hey, listen, this is one of the little big guy knives. So you see this. It has that FRN uh, scales. That's Spyderco. It stands for um, fiberglass reinforced nylon. I, I can only use this to explain it. It feels like plastic, <laughs> like a very expensive plastic, but it is fiberglass and nylon and some process that makes it hard and wonderful. Um, this is the Meerkat. It feels great in the hand. I love this little clip. It's a little wire deep carry clip. You see that? You see the wire deep carry clip on the Sage series and a number of other knives that I love. I always talk about this being my best clip, but I love how on this small knife, they cut it down to size. Uh, this is a VG10. Uh, Meerkat, the earlier ones was Os 8 blade, that wonderful shape, so it does some great cutting. It's just a really nice blade. I would probably, I have two of these. This is the burgundy one, I have a black one. I would probably carry them if it had a knife hole, I mean a knife, a key hole ring. It does not have that. I love how it is shaped. Now look, I got fat Michelin man hands, right? big fat hands, but there's that chortle. Oh man, I love it. See how much of the handle they use for that chortle? It's a small knife, but they want you to have a real relaxed grip. So the chortle, a lot of handle, not just the blade for the chortle. It's, it's less than 50-50. It, uh, the blade is less than 50% of it. I love that. Big hands. It does that. And look at the bottom. Rest that last one right here. You know, some people love to have, I'm not a big lanyard person. I keep my Chris Reeve lanyards or if I have a lanyard. The reason I'm not clicking this open <laughs> and closed, I almost 
about 10 times while I'm talking to you, I almost open and close it. I like doing that when I'm talking about knives because I get so frustrated on videos. I want them to play with it. I don't want them to just keep it open. I definitely don't want them to keep it closed and a lot of people do. So I'm usually flipping mine open. I try to give you a good view of them. The reason I'm not opening and closing this is the real special part of the Meerkat is how it locks. See? It's not a frame lock. Look. Nope, not a liner lock. Not a back lock. It is not, look, not a slip joint. Not a slip joint. The lock is what Spyderco calls the phantom lock. Now, I wasn't collecting Spyderco's when this first came out. I would have been going crazy and making sure I was one of the first to buy this. This is the Meerkat, and here's the Phantom Lock. Is that cool? Spyderco is not a stodgy company. <laughs> they make a lot of different knives. They experiment a lot. The Meerkat comes in a lot of different colors, and here's the lock. You hit here where the Spidey logo is. You don't hit it. You take it, slide it forward. See that? That releases the blade, it comes down, and then it locks up. Is that unfrickin' believable? That's the Meerkat, very special knife look. See that? <laughs> That's the Phantom Lock. That's why I hadn't been slipping this back and forth. Look at that, is that wonderful? <sighs> I haven't been carrying it. I would if it was a keychain knife, but I just like to keep it. I want to make sure that my son or my daughters have this uh, and my grandkids, I have five grandsons, have it because it's a really unique knife and those scales, I know I'm talking too much, I'm sorry, but I just love this knife and those scales will really make it long lasting. I don't want to ruin it. I don't put any of my knives in a safe. I would have carried it a lot more if I had a keychain knife, but look at that. If you can hunt one down, it's great. Here's one thing if you start looking for a meerkat because you want to hunt it down and you find one. The only problem with this is the same way that nowadays a lot of knives make sure that you can't extend the frame lock um too far so sometimes with this phantom lock people don't know when to stop <laughs> this is a perfect condition meerkat i have seen felt and been disgusted by meerkats that the lock is functional but it stays out that way more often it stays open because people have just played with it so much or really extended it way too far and this doesn't have something that stops the extension. So if you're going to buy one, ask the person. Make sure you get it where it's not too extended. Because, hey, the lock's the big issue, right? That's what makes the knife very special. This is a very special pocket dump carriage for me. I'm sorry I rambled on and on, but I had to play with the mirror cat. I'm just not going to do that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the deconstruction. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for giving me so much of your precious time. Please thumbs this up. Um, every single day, every single day, I'll be uploading um, a pocket dump deconstruction and we'll play with at least four knives. And then at least once, probably twice or three times, I will be giving you mini collection videos. I have a pretty extensive knife collection and we'll play through those as well. I appreciate you. I'm Kevin of Keith Kevin Ken. And don't forget the Instagram is at Keith Kevin Ken. Don't forget to thumbs this up. Become a part of our knife family by subscribing. We want you to be a part of this so we can all play with knives and talk about knives together and play that drinking game together, <laughs> okay? So hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate all of you. Have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full, won't you? Thank you. Bye-bye.